week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn, Harold, the Drew Spence, and Terrence Bud Crawford. Get this. Eddie Hearn states that Harold Spence will move to 154 to avoid Terrence Crawford, predicts Eddie Hearn. Wow. Promoter Eddie Hearn says he feels sorry for Terrence Crawford because the fights that he wants and needs to make the money that he's asking for aren't there for him against the likes of Errol Spence. Hearns is predicting that Spence, which is 27-0, and 0, will move up to 154 to strategically avoid a fight against Crawford, which will leave the Nebraska native without the big-name opponent that he needs to get him the big-money fight. The WBO welterweight champion Crawford could possibly face former WBA and WBC champion Keith Thurman next if one time wins his comeback fight against Mario Barrios in the early 2022s. But it will be unclear on how much money and fan interest there will help Terrence Crawford in that matchup. Thurman has been forgotten by the public after being defeated by Manny Pacquiao. Okay, Spence hasn't fought since 2020 of December and becoming off an eye injury that could impact his future. The combination of inactivity and a terrible car crash in October of 2019 and his torn retina has Spence one promising career on a shaky ground. And Hearn said this, Terrence Crawford is a good fighter, but I think it's hard for Terrence because I think that he's the best welterweight in the world. But at the same time, where are the fights that are going to generate that kind of money that he wants? Really, that's Errol Spence, Hearn continued. I think you're going to see Errol Spence move up to 154 to avoid Terrence Crawford. Avoid is maybe a harsh word, but strategically avoid. <laughs> hmm, let me counterpunch. Um, I think, first off... Eddie Hearn is a very clever, you know, um, he's very clever. And I think that everyone knows that Terrence Crawford is a free agent and people want to sign him being having that type of talent. One of the best fighters in the world. Why wouldn't you sign him? You know, but as Teddy, I mean, as Teddy, as Eddie has said that it's going to the money that he wants is going to be hard to get because the fights that people will pay for that fight to pay that type of money to pay him will be hard to get. Well, I would disagree. Why? Because Terrence Crawford has not been missing money. It's not like Terrence Crawford is a Demetrius Andrade or someone like that. You know, he's not a guy that um, has needed money. He's not an Adrian Broner at this point. He's a guy that had a very good contract He's a guy that really got over on the promotional company. How do you think? He made three to four, three to five million dollars a fight, okay, on a contract from ESPN. And according to Bob Arum, they've lost money on Terrence Crawford. But who hasn't lost money? Terrence Crawford. <laughs> Terrence Crawford is the guy that has made his. Okay, he agreed to the contract that they agreed to pay him, and they had to pay him, so they paid him. OK, and I think that I think at the end of the day, I think Terrence Crawford is a guy that doesn't need any guy, anybody, really. You know, I think he should go like Canelo, case by case, fight by fight basis. OK, um, now will Errol Spence move to 154? Um he could, you know, he could based on his eye, based on the momentum of Terrence Crawford, you know, and I think Terrence Crawford um, can fight whoever he wants. And I don't think, and I agree with Terrence Crawford, the fight or the welterweight division does not evolve around Errol Spence. Okay, maybe it used to at a certain point, but I think the hype is just... Uh, 
I think it's just build up. Okay. I think it's just cap. I think it's just um, perception or a person or people's perception. Oh, Errol Spence is this and that. That's just channels pushing a narrative. But I really don't think that Terrence Crawford needs Errol Spence. I never thought the fight was going to happen. People ask me, do you think? I don't think so. Errol Spence did not want that fight. He didn't want it before the injury. He didn't want it before the car accident. He didn't want it. He didn't want that fight. He wanted to fight everybody else. He really wanted Keith Thurman. But this is what you think of. When you're dealing with any fighter, okay, and, and they target a particular fighter, it's a reason why they target a particular fighter. They target that fighter because they know they can beat that fighter based on what they see, based on what they can observe. And the other part is politics. So it may be Al Heyman. But what Al Heyman didn't want is for Errol Spence to go in there and fight someone like a Terrence Crawford. He wasn't even on the list of the people that's a possibility for Errol Spence. And Errol Spence made it clear when he was face to face with Terrence Crawford and told Terrence Crawford, this is what Al Heyman has for me. These are the fighters that he wants me to fight. And Terrence Crawford was not on that list. Okay, so for him to go to 154, I mean, I think that would be something. You know, they would put him up there against someone like Edis Landy Lada, which is damn near 40 years old. Okay, they would do that to make him look better because Canelo beat him. You know what I mean? Because there's only so many people beat Lada, you know. Um, and the person that sticks out is uh, Jared Swift Heard, you know, but we don't know what he's doing these days. You know, but to avoid that fight, they may have to do that if the pressure is too much at 147, especially if Terrence Crawford messes around and gets a Keith Thurman fight because Keith Thurman is only well, he only has one loss. And that's to the great Manny Pacquiao, but he hasn't fought in forever. So he does get past Mario Barrios. I think at the end of the day, I think if he gets that fight with Keith Thurman and beats Keith Thurman, let's say he stops Keith Thurman, some something that no one else has done. So he's done that with Sean Porter, stop Sean Porter when no one else has. And he does that with Keith Thurman and stops Keith Thurman and no one else has. Who really has the momentum? And mind you, that's the person that Errol Spence again wanted. He chased he wanted to fight so badly, but he did not want Terrence Crawford that's been there forever now. But if Terrence Crawford stops Sean Porter and Keith Thurman, there isn't anyone left but Errol Spence. But what has Errol Spence really done? Looked mediocre against the guys he fought, except Danny Garcia. He beat the shit out of Danny Garcia. But um, Sean Porter, um, Kel Brook, who else? I mean, who else isn't there? I mean, there's no one else that would be note that you could say that Errol Spence is the best and this, that, and the other because Terrence Crawford has ran through him. He stopped Sean Porter. He's already stopped Kell Brook. He knocked out Amir Khan. And if he takes on Keith Thurman and knocks him and stops him too, well, what do you think that'll mean? That'll mean you'll have a welterweight that came from junior uh, welterweight, that came from lightweight, that has destroyed everything in his path. And now he's there. So Errol Spence, it's either, yeah, well, maybe he will see the fight him because he's beat everybody that I could possibly face, except probably for Ukas, or move to 154. So, I mean, yeah, that does make sense, if, especially if uh, Errol Spence is not confident enough after the surgery or after the, the healing process to fight Terrence Crawford. He may want to fight someone else which at that point is understandable because remember, Terrence Crawford didn't want to fight Errol Spence after he, came, after he came back from the accident. Okay, so it would be strange for him to want to fight him now because if he does that now, the people, like he already said, they're going to question, was he ready or not to face someone like Terrence Crawford? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn and this counterpunch. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunched. Peace.